An early warning system to detect sharks swimming too close to our shores could someday be a reality here in San Diego. Our tender supporter Steve Theorina shows us how it can give lifeguards a heads up to get swimmers out of the water. Sharks are out there, but how close and can we find a way to lessen the danger? A shark took a bite out of this kayak off our coast a while back. A paddle boarder spotted a scary one next to him and grabbed his camera. There have been many sightings. Dylan Kaiser said he's seen leopard sharks to one he thinks was a great white. It was swimming sort of parallel to where I was, so it wasn't too much of a concern for me, but it definitely, it's always something in, your, in the back of your head. Leanne Erickson was bitten while out. swimming off San Onofre earlier this year. I felt it grab me and pulled me down. Now an early warning system is being used in Australia, proposed for a demonstration project off Corona del Mar, north of here. Boys would be deployed with specialized sonar devices trailing below, sending alerts to lifeguards on their smartphones. It can differentiate between a porpoise, for example, and a shark. It can differentiate between a, a stingray and a shark. Congressman Dana Rohrabacher needs to raise $2 million for his pilot program, then hopes to see it expand to protect popular beaches from Ventura to San Diego. There will be primo areas that can say, hey, we want to have this warning system because we want people from all over the world who come here to, to enjoy our, our coastline to know it's safe to come here. He'd need many permits and a lot of financial backing, public and private. Some surfers are already on board. Really crucial part for, you know, lifeguard surveillance across the water. Just, you know, they can also probably see which direction the shark is swimming too. So I think it'd be great. Target date for the test is next Labor Day. Steve Fiorina, 10 News.